Hi everyone. In this short video, I will explain you how to reduce the even the transfer from the plot diagram system here, as you, as you see, and obtain the single transfer function of the system. So by looking here, I can see that there is a part here, which is a feedback uh, configuration, and then there is another part in the, the left hand side of the plot diagram system. We can start by simplifying this part. So I can write it as signal R is fed to the system plus minus F then here we have one summation function. And I can redraw the G and K2 as we have here, and then the unit feedback as. So here we have the the feedback configuration. The resulting transfer function is given as G over one plus G times K2. I read it here. Even if yeah, I can call T one. And then the unit feedback. The signs here are plus. Uh, for the next step, I can move this plot here to the right right hand side of the summing junction. So as a result, I will have this configuration R as the input, then summing junction. F will appear here. T1 is already over there. Plus, plus. And since we have F here after the summing junction, we need to have 1 over F after the K. And then we have the feedback. So now the signal coming from this path will be equal to k1 times the, the original signal here. The same thing that we had already here. k1 and 1 over f are in series with each other, so this could be further simplified. into k1 over f plus plus r minus f times t1 and now we can exchange the location of these two summing junctions and obtain the configuration as you can see here. Uh -huh. F times T1. And now I can feed, I can feed the output signal back here with an entry sign. And we also can add the signal coming from K1 over A here to this summing junction with the positive sign. So these are equivalent to each other. And from here we can see that uh, these two branches, a branch with the gain of 1 and a branch with the transfer function K1 over F are in parallel with each other. So as a result we will have 
one plus k one over here. There's c one minus plus. And here we have a pizza configuration. So the resulting transfer function would be if t one over one plus f t one. As a result, the overall transfer function from R to the output will be equal to 1 plus k1 over f times f t1 over 1 plus a. And since we already know the value for t1 as g over 1 plus g k2, t1 is g over 1 plus g k2 we can plug it here and obtain the transfer function from r to y so y over r is given as 1 plus k1 f times f times g over 1 plus g k2 over 1 plus f times g over 1 plus g k2 we need to simplify this so we will get f plus k1 over f times f g over 1 plus g k2 1 plus g k2 plus f g over 1 plus g k2 so this 1 plus g k2 will be uh, simplified by the 1 plus g2 in the numerator that will be cancelled by this f and the resulting transfer function from r to y is up and plus f plus k1 times g or 1 plus f plus k2 times this is the overall transfer function for the block diagram system shown here so it's again f plus k1 times g the transfer function F plus k1 times g over 1 plus f plus k2 times overall transfer function for the system. Okay, so that's all for this video. I, I hope you have enjoyed it and you have learned some of the techniques in reducing the block diagram system into a single transfer function. Thank you for watching and see you next time.